Everybody, welcome to getting ready for fourth grade math like a boss. My name is Miss McCarthy. I'm here to teach you the top eight skills that you need to know for fourth grade math. So it's not everything, but it's the big eight that'll really give you a nice strong foundation with math. So um, today we're gonna we're on week two, day six. Okay, so if you haven't watched week one yet, which would be reading and writing numbers. Go back and watch it and do the work that comes with it in the workbook. You can access the workbook by clicking the link below in the description box. I'll also show you at the end of the video how to log in. So teachers, you can download it. Parents, anybody can download it. Okay, I'll show you how to do it. But we're working on rounding today. This is day six on the video. Day seven, eight, nine, and ten will be in your workbook. So without Further ado, let me teach ya. B -b 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 boss notes. It's time for our boss notes, which you have in your workbook, okay? So we've got three steps to rounding, all right? I want you to record what I do in your notes. First, we underline the rounding place. First step to rounding, underline the rounding place. You can find the rounding place in the directions. It'll say underline or round to the nearest hundred. That would be your rounding place. Step two, circle the digit to the right of the rounding place. So underline the rounding place and circle the digit to the right. Now with that digit that you've circled, if that circled digit, let me go ahead and circle that. If that circled digit is five or more, we're going to add one to the rounding place. Okay. If that circle digit is four or less, we're going to do nothing. Do nothing. That's very mathematical right there. Do nothing. Okay. And finally, step three would to finish off the rounding place first. I should put a little star here because first, we're gonna add or do nothing. Okay, but with everything before it, you're gonna drop it, add or nothing, and everything else becomes zero. All right, so here we are at number one for the learn it section. The directions say to complete each table by rounding to the given number. It says that in your workbook. So, first, before we start rounding, I'm gonna relate to what we learned in the last week. Okay, just a little bit, making sure that I can actually read this number. Okay, so this would be ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten hundreds, I'm sorry, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Okay, and all right, that will definitely help me. Okay, so let's make sure that I can read it. One hundred eighty three. 1,021, 183,021. So for the first one, I'm gonna to round to the hundred thousands place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to rewrite this number right here. One hundred eighty-three thousand twenty-one. I'm gonna do my work outside the box and then put my answer inside. So our directions say to underline the rounding place. Well, the rounding place is right here. It's the hundred thousands place. And the one is in the hundred thousands place. So I'm going to underline the one. And I'm going to circle the digit to the right, which would be eight. Okay? Eight. That circle digit is five or more. So I am going to add one to the rounding place. Okay? There's nothing before it, so my first step is going to be to add these up. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and everything else becomes 0. So there's nothing to drop. I just add, and everything else becomes 0. So 200,000. That's how you do that one. Let's move on. Okay. 
So in the next one, I'm going to rewrite the same number. It's to the nearest tens place, 183,021. And I'm rounding to the nearest tens place, so I need to find the tens place, which is ones tens, which is my two, ones tens. Circle the digit to the right, okay? That circle digit is one, which would be four or less. So I do nothing to the rounding place. I leave it at two, okay? So I bring down my two. I'm gonna drop down everything before it, okay? And everything behind it becomes a zero. So 183,020. And then finally, we're going to round to the nearest thousands place. So let me rewrite my number. 183,021. Rounding to the nearest thousands place. So i got to find and underline my rounding place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. There it is. Okay, circle the digit to the right. That's a zero, and zero is four or less, so I do nothing to it, okay? Do nothing to my rounding place. So my rounding place stays the same. I'm gonna do that first. Drop down everything before it, and then everything behind it becomes zero. So 183,000 would be the answer rounding to the nearest thousands place. That's how you do it. Here we go with number two. First, let me make sure that I can read my number. 567,141. All right. So I'm going to round this number first to the thousands place. I find and I underline my thousands place, which would be the seven. I circle to the right. The one is four or less, so I do nothing to my rounding place. I do nothing to the seven. So I'm just gonna bring it down. I drop down everything before it, put my comma, and everything behind my rounding place becomes zero. So 567,000 would be how I round it. All right, next would be to the nearest hundreds place. 567,141. Find and underline the place, which is the hundreds place. That's my one. Circle the digit to the right. That would be four. Four is four or less, so I do nothing to my rounding place. I drop everything down before it, drop it, and everything behind it becomes zeros. 567,100. And finally, I'm going to round to the nearest hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands place, that would be my five right there. Circle the digit to the right, that's six. Now six is five or more, so I'm going to add one to my rounding place. Take care of that first, that's six, and everything else becomes zeros. Okay, so read it with me. Seven hundred two happened to my comma? Thousand, three, hundred, eighty-two. Seven hundred, two, thousand, three hundred, eighty-two. That is how you say it. All right, now let's do some rounding. So our first step is to round to the hundred thousands place. So which digit is in the hundred thousands place? Right, the seven is in the hundred thousands place, so I underline it. And I circle the digit to the right, which would be my zero. Now zero, is that five or more, or four or less? Four or less, so we do nothing to the rounding place. Very good, so we're just gonna drop down the seven, and everything else becomes a what? Zero, excellent. I'm just gonna record this in my table. Cool, moving on. Now we're rounding to the nearest tens place. Rewrite the whole number, 702,382. Nearest tens place. So which digit is in the tens place? The eight. And what do I do? I underline it. Awesome. And I'm going to circle my digit to the right, which is the digit two. Okay. 
Two, is that five or more or four or less? Four or less, so that means I do nothing to my rounding place. That just becomes an eight. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that now. Now everything before my eight, what do I do with those guys? I drop them down, so drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and everything after becomes a zero. 702,380 is what goes there. Awesome. And our last one, running to the nearest thousands place. Okay, which digit is in the thousands place? Right, the two, and it's this two right here. And what do I do with that two? I underline it, very good. And I circle my digit to the left or to the right? To the right, very good. Circle my digit to the right which is the three. Three, is that five or more or four or less? Four or less, so I do nothing to that rounding place, okay? Everything else before it, what do I do with the seven and the zero? I drop them down, drop it like it's hot, and everything else becomes a zero, zero, zero. So 700, 2,000. Round it. First, let's make sure that we can read it by tying in what we did last week. Okay, so we've got ones, tens, hundreds, one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Star, slide, say it, slide. Okay. Four hundred seventy-two thousand. Keep erasing my commas. Thousand. Nine hundred eighty-nine. Four hundred. 72,989. Perfecto. Now I'm going to run to the nearest thousands place first. So let me rewrite it and then you can help me out. Okay, so which digit is in the thousands place? We need to find it. Right, it's the digit two. Two is in the thousands place, the one thousands place. And we circle the digit to the right, which is my nine. Nine, is that five or more? or four or less. It is five or more, so we need to do what? Right, add one to the rounding place, and I take care of that first. So two plus one is three, okay? What do I do with the four and the seven? Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, good, okay? And everything else, what happens to the nine, the eight, and the nine, everything else becomes a zero. Write it down, 473,000. Boom, shakalaka. Let's do the hundreds. Again, if I'm going fast, you can just pause it and rewind. That's the great thing about YouTube. All right, 989. So, hundreds place. Which digit is in the hundreds place? The nine, right? Not the nine in the ones place, but the nine right here. And what do I do? I underline it. Very good. What's my next step? Look at your boss notes if you don't know, right? Circle my digit to the right, which is the eight. Okay. Now what? Good. Eight is five or more. So I add one to my rounding place. Excellent. Now here's where you might need some help, okay? Let's add it. We always add our, if we, we take care of our underlined digit first. So what is nine plus one? Right, it's 10, but I can't write 10 there because this is the hundreds place and the whole hundreds place can only hold one digit. So just like subtraction, I mean, sorry, just like addition, nine plus one, it would be 10 and I would go ahead and regroup over there. Okay, woo, it's high up here. Nice landing dude, all right? So one plus two is three, I can do that. All right, drop everything else down, four, seven, put my comma there, and everything else becomes a zero. And it's actually just like rounding to the nearest thousands place because 989 is so close to 1,000. Um, and then 100,000 place, let's do it. That's where I thought you were gonna get tripped up right there was with the nines. The nines can be kind of tricky, but you just gotta know what to do with them. 
472,989, rounding to the hundred thousands place. Which digit is in that hundred thousands place? The four. Now what? What's my next step? Circle the digit to the right, which is my seven. What's my next step? Good. Seven is five or more, so we add one to our rounding place. Now what? Add the four and the one. We get five. And finally, what do I do? Right, everything else becomes zeros. Because 472,000 is so close if we rounded it to 500,000. Today's B message is to be dependable like a boss. When you are dependable, that means that other people can count on you to be there. So for instance, when your parents go grocery shopping, you could help them by bringing in the groceries. Show them that you are dependable and that they can count on you. Or maybe if your friend is upset, make sure that your friend knows that they can count on you to be there to help them through whatever it is they're upset about. So comment below on how you are dependable like a boss.